Oh my gosh. <gasps> Stop. food in a second fancy and i we are up before sunrise this morning my camera actually is making it look brighter than it actually is out there but it is it's dark fancy seems to be full of energy this morning but i'm exhausted i just like did not did not sleep good i feel like do i look tired because i'm tired you're a good girl you can go ahead and eat Fancy's like looking for my approval. I think she's also making sure that I'm not going anywhere before she eats. Okay, let me put this towel back. We are going to Texas. Let me get the address. I actually, last night I was reading reviews on the hike that I'm going to and someone said that they drove two hours and couldn't get in because you needed reservations. And then I looked online and apparently you need reservations because of COVID and stuff. They don't want it to be too overcrowded. So I ended up booking us a reservation last night. It cost $8, but we're going to Palo Duro Cannon State Park. Well, my car doesn't recognize this address as a thing. Uh, so I don't know. You know what, we'll just have it running and I'm gonna have my phone going at the exact same time and my phone will take me to the right place, but hopefully this will just be able to give me some sort of visual while my phone is talking to me. Let's go with that. I really don't need gas. Should I get gas? Okay. Hey, Luca. Okay. Oh, we are officially off. Actually, a couple of years ago, two years ago, I did a drive exactly like this. My mother was moving from York, Pennsylvania, which is where I was born and raised, the whole way out to Phoenix. And she had to drive her dog and her car out there. And her husband, my stepdad, was actually already out there working. So he flew out, got a place, and then she had to finish working and then did the drive. Didn't want her to do it alone, so I went with her. So we went the whole way from Pennsylvania to Phoenix, and we actually went this exact route, like up until the point, we're gonna be right above Sedona. We're not gonna hit that today, tomorrow we will. And then you cut down to go to Phoenix. So this part is the exact same. And I remember one, Oklahoma and Texas, they're both so, so freaking flat. Like. Oklahoma has more trees when it's flat. Texas, like you can just see, and it looks like you're seeing to the end of the earth. Like it's, it's insane. It's so flat. But one cool thing about like, so I'm in the tip of Texas right now. I'm like in like the little, you know, like the tip of Texas. One thing I specifically remember that like, I didn't remember that I remembered, but now that I'm seeing it, I remember it type of thing. You'll see these fences that basically like line the highway or sometimes there's roads beside the highway and then those fences will line that. But there's fences that just enclose huge areas of land, like huge. You can't even see the other end. Like I see a fence right now. I don't know where it ends. I don't know where it goes. But the cool thing is like you'll just see cattle just roaming around and they look like they're like free. Like they're not encaged type of thing. They just have these huge fences and they can roam and you, I just, I just think it's so, so freaking cool. This guy, 
Okay, we're good. I just think it's so cool to see the cows just like have this huge area of land that they can roam, you know, like good quality of life for the cows. But when my mother and I did this trip, I remember we saw a pickup truck that was actually going around and, oh, what's that called? When you corral them in type of thing. What's that called? Anyways, someone was on a pickup truck and they were basically moving all the cattle where they needed to go. And it was like so cool to see. Totally irrelevant. Do you guys care? I don't know, but I shared it with you. Anyways, we are, we got like an hour, hour and a half, probably more so an hour and a half. I want to try to find either a Loves or like the Flying J, I think it's called, gas station because those are primarily like trucker gas stations and they for sure have bathrooms, which is what I need before we get to the state park. So I'm trying to find one. I said I would stop between 10 and 10.30 and it's currently 10.18. So yeah. Anyways, back to the windmills. <laughs> And boy, is it popping. Oh my gosh, there's so many people here. We're gonna get gas. I'm like a little under half a tank. I don't necessarily need it, but I figure if I get it now, then I won't have to stop later. Okay, let's go over here. There's so many people that are just sitting. Oh, these are all closed. Is that one open? Okay, cool, this guy's wrapping up. Awesome, awesome. Yes, and this guy was quick. Ugh, I love you, man. Thank you. We are getting close, and by getting close, I mean we're still 40 minutes away, but we are off the main highway. So we got off 40, and I've been heading this way for probably about like nine miles already. So it's a decent ways away out of my course of where I'm going, but totally worth it. Or at least, yeah, no, it's going to be totally worth it because it looks gorgeous. Kind of looks like the same kind of vibe as like Arizona, which I really enjoy hiking in Arizona, like the red rocks and just like, it's like cool. It's so different. I'm an East coast gal. So like, seeing that is really cool so I think that this state park is going to be awesome but yeah I've still got 26 miles to go yeah 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 oh my gosh <gasps> stop This is quite literally, I'm gonna wind my window the whole way down, one of the most beautiful places I have ever been. Like you're driving in and it's so flat and you're like, where the heck is there gonna be? And then like you pull in and it's as soon as you pull in, it hits you in your face. Wow, I'm like at a loss for words. This is unreal. So, so dang gorgeous. Oh my gosh. We like barely even got started on this trail. Just finding this trail was a friggin' challenge. But we've gone, of course, a couple of times. Look at the freaking views and the fly on my head. Oh my gosh. There's so many flies here. That's one thing I will say my car is totally filled with flies because I had the door open while getting stuff out and getting ready for this hike. And whew, yeah, oh my God, let me show you the view.
We made it to New Mexico! That means there's only, I only have Arizona and then California. Ah! That's so insane! Wow. Oh my gosh. we arrived just at rush hour so now we're in mountain time switched to time zone today but it's 5 17 mountain time and everyone and their brother wants to go santa fe north i just want to be there i'm so freaking tired i think i'm gonna go to bed really early oh okay good girl we're almost there bug i know this is no fun fancy this whole entire car ride sadly the way that the car mount is set up it's not like angled enough so you guys can actually see her the whole entire car ride ever since our hike we've had flies in the car Ugh. they're driving me crazy but they're driving fancy crazier oh my gosh it's been hilarious just seeing her like snap and like try to get the dang fly i was really hoping that she would have caught it but sadly she did not but that's been her entertainment. So I think she's going to be exhausted by the time we get to the hotel because she has not slept that much this half of the ride, really. Oh my God, baby. I got it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Fancy has been licking her paw this whole entire time, but like her body's been away from me so I couldn't see her paw. So I was like, I'll look at it once we stop or something freaking piece of a cacti in her paw just like jammed in there oh poor girl i'm so sorry that i just now noticed baby i'm so sorry i cannot believe that there's a piece of cacti stuck in your paw i'm so sorry oh man i look rough i feel rough I'm freaking tired. Let me close this. No one, no one peeping in on here. Anyways, we made it to our hotel. This is like a motel style, you know? So my car's parked right out front, which is great for easy access, but also not great because I can hear all of the highway noise and the straight noise, and I'm not loving that. But it's okay. We made it to our hotel. Let me show you the room. We got a king size bed tonight. I don't need a king size bed for me and fancy, but I think I've gotten so used to that home that I just, I thoroughly enjoy all of the space. So let's do a tour. So my audio ended up cutting out my, uh, my microphone just kept getting disconnected and I had to keep re-plugging it back in and that's what happens when you travel. Anyways, this is the beautiful room tour. Look at it, it's nice. Definitely dated compared to some of the other ones that I ended up staying in. The carpet is just lovely. Got a little kitchen area right here. I don't know what else I'm talking about. The nice bathroom, perfect. Honestly, like I'm clearly not saying anything important, so I don't know what to do in this voiceover. It's just really weird. This shower area, but wait, the audio comes back in. This floor, it's just like all of the vibes, all of the vibes. And then it cut back out. I have no idea what was happening with my microphone, but trying to convince Fancy to eat, not clearly interested in eating, but that is the room tour, guys. But that is it. I honestly think that Fancy and I were gonna put on some TV or watch a movie or something and go to bed. My plan for this trip? And then for some reason my audio cut out again. So there's a nice leg kick for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys back here for day four super soon.